You think this is any good? It's been laying around for years. It smells like brake fluid. It's been opened. How about we find out? How well do you know your brake fluid? Here's what, what we have, and we're gonna do some testing and we're gonna learn what's up with brake fluid, right? Here's our old one. It's been opened but sealed. DOT3, that's Department of Transportation rating of three. Opened many years. Here's some DOT3, new, open for 10 days. I took the cap off this and I let it set for 10 days, just for this. Then we have DOT4, brand new, been sealed, not opened, brand new. We have a glass jar and we have some water. Of course, a masking tape and a Sharpie. <clears throat> DOT3 has a boiling point of 401 degrees. There's a reason we're gonna talk about this. Boiling point for DOT4 is 446 degrees Fahrenheit. DOT 5.1. Now DOT 5 is totally made totally different. You can't mix these, okay? You can't even really flush out the system because of the residual and it won't mix, it'll mess stuff up. So you can't use three or four with regular just five. But 5.1 is made the same way this is same way this is, DOT3 and DOT4, but with a boiling point of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Now your brakes get hot. DOT4 is usually used for hydraulic clutch systems because the clutch gets to extremely hot and, and we don't want to boil the fluid, okay? Now the reason I'm talking about this is because I've argued and argued with a lot of different people over brake fluid and why you should change it. One reason is, you've seen the gunky brown stuff, you take the cap off, you're like, ooh, right? That's the fluid breaking down from heat and cold cycles, it gets, it gets worn. And the molecules start falling out of the brake fluid, okay? That gunkiness will get into valves and wheel cylinders and calipers and proportioning valves, make things sticky sticky and not move, right? So that's the first reason you want to change it, okay? I always re recommended every five years and every 50,000 miles change your fluid because by the time you see that brown stuff inside your reservoir, it's too late. It's already there, you're not gonna get it out. I don't care what you do. Flush, flush, flush till your, your ears fall off and it's gonna have that brown stuff in it. The fluid will be clear. So it's better than nothing, but you know. The other reason is Brake fluid absorbs moisture. Yes, it does. From the air. Watch. A little demonstration stuff going on here. First, we're gonna start with our glass jar. We're gonna take our old bottle just cause it's the most fluid I have on hand. And I'm probably gonna find out that this fluid is no good. Either way, We're going to put some brake fluid in there. See that? Brake fluid. Nothing else. Just old brake fluid. Water. Prove to you that it's water. It's water. Watch what it does. It separates, right? Show you that. It's separated. Now I'm gonna leave it sit there and by the end of this video, we're gonna see what that looks like. You can see how separated it is. It looks kind of oily and gooey. It's, it's, it's separated and icky. See the oiliness to it? Okay, let's sit it right over here. We're not gonna to touch it until we get done with the video, then we'll know where we're at. Now we also need to be able to measure the moisture because we can use our eyeballs, right? To uh, see if it looks dirty, right? 
Kawitz. Kawitz. This is a brake fluid tester. There's been other ways to test fluids. Uh, and I think other companies might make these, but this is the first one that I've ever used. So, we're going to put the batteries in it. There it is. We're going to see how this thing does. Now, believe me, I've used it. I've tried it out. It works. I would never bring something to this like this to you guys if I didn't think it was worth it, okay? I promise you that. Get batteries in it, get her fired up. Turn the button on. It says DOT3. You can change it to 4 or 5.1. We're going to start with the 3. Let's go ahead and try our old bottle of fluid first. See what uh, what this tool says. Two point two, right? Okay. The highest rating I saw was two point four. Now, that's an old bottle, but it's been sealed up. The tight's been on the the tight. The cap's been on it pretty tight. So let's go over here. And by the way, I'm going to wipe the end of this off so we do not contaminate our readings. The new bottle that sat with the lid off of it for 10 days. Fluid looks exactly the same. Look at that. So, 2.6. The highest one I saw was 2.8. Okay. So, they say 3%. If you read the directions, it says 3%. 3%. Which it did hit 3% at first. Let's try the dot four that's never been opened. Sealed. Right? Now this has a little bit different color to it and you can mix the three and the four together. So let me get it. We got it on DOT four. You can switch it. It still set well, 1.1. 1.1. Right? So, if your brand new fluid starts out at 1.1, sets open for 10 days is 2.8, and sitting around for 5 or 6 years is 2.4. Should you change your brake fluid? Because that relative boiling point is now lower. How much lower? I don't know. We can figure that out if you wanted to. But it's lower. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's go out in the dark. Here's my daily driver, 2013. Ram truck, 1500. As far as I know, the uh, 
Fluid's never been changed. Does it need changed? Let's find out. Is it on? It's on. Three. Went to 2.9. It was started out at, at 3.1, so it needs changed. This is my 1962 Cadillac. Sedan DeVille. You can tell by the way that it is. I redid the braking system, replaced everything, all new lines, everything brand new, brand new fluid, eight years ago. I've never had the lid off, and I've never even checked the fluid, shame on me, but let's test it. I get no fluid everywhere. Let's see what it says. Three point five. Start at three point six. Three point three. This fluid needs changed. It's not. It's got three thousand miles on it. Back in the barn. So it looks like I'm going to be changing some brake fluid, right? So your old cars, you build up the system on it, get it on it, you know, get the brakes done. Brakes are done. Awesome. And then it sits for five or six years before you even drive it. Guess what you're going to have to do. I believe it. I strongly believe it. I've seen too many accidents and destroyed parts and bad situations. At least now I've got a way to prove it, at least in my mind. Hope you guys agree. Oh, it's only been about 20 minutes. Let's look at our water brake fluid mixture and see what happened. Water's gone. Actually, it's not. It's still in there. You want to measure it? Let's measure it and see what it says it is. You saw how much water I put in it. I do notice, though, the... The, uh... Longer you leave it in there, I think, I think. So, hey, you guys might look into getting something like this. They're not expensive. That's a bad brake fluid now, right? Really? I wouldn't use that, and I wouldn't use that. I would use that. I think it's even lower than 1.1. Your heavy duty brake fluid, dot four is the way to go. Dot five, point one, even better. But you can't, the 5.0, you cannot mix with any of these. 5.1, you can flush the system out, put it in, top it off with that, it works just fine. If for all intents and purposes, nobody's ever going to need more than dot four. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. The old brake fluid thing, keep it sealed up. Keep it sealed up. And I don't think it matters so much mileage. It's time. Mileage is where you get the brown, gunky stuff. You don't want that in your system. Really. If your ABS isn't going to work right because it's built up with that stuff in it, it might kill somebody. Hurt somebody. Kawits. Check them out. Discount code 15 junk. I'll leave the discount code, the website. They sell all kinds of diagnostic and test stuff, you know. I think it's like $16 without a discount. It's worth having around the house.
around the barn shop shop barn and <laughs> you know just so you know just so you know your daughter or your wife's car flushing the brake system is pretty easy you just open up the bleeders and keep the keep the reservoir full let it go until it looks clean and nice and clear coming out the bleeders you're done you don't need help you can do it by yourself a little little cup and a piece of aquarium tubing let it drain into that you're not making a mess trust me you want to break you know, brake fluid flush yeah five years fifty thousand miles you want to know for sure there's your test pin kawitz all right we'll see you sunday junk out